Jonathan Eisen's excellent book, Suppressed Inventions. He interviews Werner von Braun's mentor and teacher, Dr. Hermann Oberth. Dr. Oberth makes it quite clear that he has studied the aeronautic performance of UFOs. In 1972, Dr. Hermann Oberth made the following statement. Today, we cannot produce machines that fly the same as UFOs do. They are flying by means of artificial fields of gravity. This would explain the sudden changes of directions. This hypothesis would also explain the piling up of these disks into a cylindrical or cigar-shaped mothership upon leaving the Earth. Because it is in this fashion that only one field of gravity would be required for all the flying saucers. Dr. Oberth then added, we cannot take credit for our record advancement in certain scientific fields alone. We have been helped, and we have been helped by the people of other worlds. Dr. Hermann Oberth was the greatest pioneer of astronautics. Hermann Oberth made his statement in 1972 Almost 20 years later, in 1991, amateur footage of UFOs stacked up in a cylindrical formation was filmed in Mexico City. It's a monopoly that is being conducted through science about the possibilities of finding life in a different planet or satellite in the space. We have many other reasons to believe that NASA has been lying in every respect. It's very difficult to know if the politicians know the real truth or not. We know that there is government inside the government. We know that there is a military intelligence. We know that in America, after the Manhattan Project was created, that group subsists. And that group was the one who handled the Roswell crash, the Socorro crash, and others. Are you talking about Majestic 12? Yeah, probably it's a different name now. Now it's not Majestic 12, now it's something else. <laughs> I'm here to discuss the so-called flying saucers. The Air Force interest in this problem has been due to our feeling of an obligation to identify and analyze to the best of our ability anything in the air that may have the possibility of threat or menace to the United States. In pursuit of this obligation, since 1947, we have received and analyzed between one and 2,000 reports. It's very difficult to know if Bush and Blair and others are puppets, or they are innocent, or they are the mastermind. What we really know is that uh, there are many who decide together what to do in any kind of situation.
the Russians now have a very different policy around this phenomenon. We have to remember that when Gorbachev met Reagan, many times he asked about the technology that the United States have obtained from the others. And always Reagan joking replied to Gorbachev, what did you do with it too? They never said we are speaking about alien technology, but many times they spoke about the other technology. And we know that Gorbachev renounced to the race, the cold era, because he learned that the United States had technology from these beings. From the greys. From the greys. <laughs> From then on, we saw many cosmonauts talking openly about what they saw. We have different videos recorded by these cosmonauts where you can see strange things floating in the space. Non ho fatto in tempo a prendere la macchina fotografica o una videocamera perché è sparito da circa 7 secondi. A chi vuoi dire? Non c'è un cesto di lì. We have also something very important, which is a video taken inside the space agency in Russia, where you can see the mirror surrounded by dozens of bright objects. This is Mission Control Houston. We are using the payload bay cameras right now to hopefully catch a glimpse of the Russian space station mirror as it performs an on-orbit burn. The uh, payload bay cameras are positioned such that they're looking straight back, back, straight back behind the orbiter where the mirror is flying at about 850 miles behind it. No joy from here, sorry. Hope it was a good one though for our friends. Thank you, sir. We could not see it here either. We'll wait two or three more minutes till sunrise and then uh, at that time give you a go for KU Stowe. We're at mission lapse time of seven days, 13 hours, and 17 minutes. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, Mir Space Station is now visible. Yeah, we do see something flashing visually, but we're not sure that that might be, uh... This shot was obtained by the shuttle, by the Americans. NASA never released that piece of video. It means that we have two different positions. One that is openly saying, yes, we have experience out in the space, the Russians, and we have the other, which is the NASA explanation that there is nothing in there, they don't release anything. We have to obtain every evidence from an outside source, but not from NASA.